are you tired of always using the same wall for every photograph you take of your dog? And are you tired if you try to change it by using poster boards? You have this problem, getting them to stand up. Or if you try a three-way board, try to open it, but it just closes back up. So stick around and we're going to show you how to do a background that you can change easily and to do lighting that will make your doll look good. And we're going to show you how to do it all affordable. We're going to show you how to do this background for your dolls to display them for photographs. That's okay, Pat's going to tell you what supplies you need to make the frame for this backdrop. What do they need, Pat? sections of pipe that's half inch pipe two feet long or 24 inches long 60 centimeters approximately and they run brand us at Menards I mean I don't know if you have the Menards but you can go to your hardware store and if you can't find these exact pipes you can get whatever you want you don't even have to have threads just cut them if you know how you'll just need this kind of setup the risers that these are called, the pipe pieces are $1.73 each, and we got three of them, made the total $5.15. Next, we have female elbows, two female elbows at $0.48 cents each, making them a total of $0.96. Cents. Next, there are fitting elbows, there were four of those at $0.82 cents each, making them a total of $3.28. These are also called street elbows because they go inside one goes in and one's, one's male, one's female. Yeah, and they hang out on the street. And they hang out on the street like okay. hussies. Yeah. Hussies? <laughs> what did you say? They're street walkers. Street walker elbows. <laughs> <laughs> then the last one we have is female tea. And there are two of the female teas at 51 cents each, making them a total of a dollar and two cents. And these are threaded on only one open. We'll show you why. Hang on. Now we're going to put them together. Show you what this frame looks like. Right. Let's see who can be the fastest. Got one of them. Got one of them. <laughs> these. Oh First, God. you're going to add. You're going to screw the T on. Then you're going to take <laughs> the ones that have that are like smaller that just slide in there. What are these called again? The street elbows. These are the street these elbows. The street walkers. <laughs> then you're going to put the threaded section on top of the pipe. And tighten it up like that. Make it all straight and even across there. Okay, then this is going to go in the center. And that's where you're going to hang your paper for your backdrop. Ta da! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to hang a backdrop on this thing. So we're going to take paper that we got from Dollar Tree and we're going to rip it off. But unfortunately, it won't fit on here. Damn it, Don't beat me again. Damn it. Hurry, hurry, I'll beat you. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. I'll try to do better next time. You Don't beat better. me. Oh, get the pencil over there behind you. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it up here. And it will, the hole is big enough in here to go over the white part if you want to make it longer. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. So anyway, just kind of eyeball it. Mark off the place. <laughs> <laughs> the disassembly okay. is super okay. I meant to do that <laughs> because I'm going to show you how to put it on there. Take like a um, utility knife and just cut it. Cut okay, yourself. Safety oh, first. Yeah, Have your husband stand far back so he doesn't get cut too. Do a hell of a lot better straight cut than I just did. It doesn't have to be super pretty no. because whenever you're taking your pictures, the edge of this is not going to be in the picture, right? That's I mean, right. That's right. That's right. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, get your legs. Get my legs. Get your legs. <laughs> oh, these legs. This legs. These <laughs> legs are turned. Drew's the end on there. So we're just going to slide it across there and edging. If it looks rough, it looks rough. And then, I feel like I need to do this. Yeah. And you're going to try to get it in there as well as you can. Push it down in there because you don't want it to come out whenever you actually roll out the paper. So, 
how you hold it really good and roll down. These are lamps that we just got right off of our nightstands. You can use any lamp you have in the house. The bulb is the main important thing, and that's going to also depend on you. Do you want an LED light and what shade you want, like what color do you want? You want a warm, you know, a brighter blue, a more daylight color? That's totally up to you. So these are 40 watt that we're using. Again, it depends on you what wattage you want to use and what color you want to use. To put a little bit more light on the situation. <laughs> You can uh, find these little tabletop tripods on the internet. They're pretty cheap. This is one that's just, that extends, you know, so that's what we're using. Yeah, so you can make it short or taller, and you can even get these on AliExpress pretty cheap. It just takes longer to get them. Yep. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to show you what to do if you don't have a tripod. First of all, these are pinchers. They're, they pinch the, you know what, out of you. Okay, to give you an idea of what it will look like, so... You can, you know, like I said, you can, depends on you on how big you want the doll or how small or close up you want the doll, far away, how much of the doll you want to show. That's all up to you. But this is the look that you will get, and it looks really good. You can angle these, like I said, they look good. There's some shadowing, but make sure that whatever you do is your light is not directly over the top of the doll. Because what happens, Pat, if you put the light over the right over the top of the doll? You get bad shadows. That's right. You get bad shadows. Yeah, you know, on their face. You can't see their face very well. and if you, you can't get too close. But if you get too far away, then it's too dark. You don't get enough light on your subject. It looks bad. It just looks bad. <laughs> and another thing you can do is you can use your shades. So if you have shades and like ours that have to be screwed on under the light bulb, you can actually put them on and angle them and that will allow you to let direct the light where you want it to be, which is really good for the doll. You okay. might be able to kind of balance it on there. Yeah, it on. <laughs> Do it catch us on fire? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. <laughs> so that made such a difference on the doll by adding that center light. These are obviously warmer bulbs, more mm -hmm. orange, you know, and this little center light's more blue. But yeah. Just... yeah. Now I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have a tripod, because you don't have to have one. Okay, I'm going to use books. Hardbacks are usually better, because they're just stronger to hold up your camera. Okay. Or your Less phone, slippery. actually. Not your camera, but your phone. Stand up there, hold your phone, set it the way you want it, get it set up and take the photographs this way. Now, go to your hardware store, go to Dollar Tree, get your supplies, make your backdrop, get your lamps out, get your books out, set up your camera, take some photographs of your dolls, and post them on our Facebook group so we can see what they look like. Yeah, we want to see it. If you want more videos like this, or you want to see BJD unboxing of some really cool and expensive dolls, then you need to subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell so you're notified about the next video. Do a thumbs up because we know you liked it. Until next time, Pat, what do you tell them? See you next time. Bye. Bye. Because we're going to show you how to throw your doll in the trash if she's a string BJD and doesn't stand up for you <laughs> like she should. Like this one's been mm, mm, all day. Oh, mm, mm. I love my dogs. Roll out the paper. So. Now you just hold it really good and roll down your paper. When you do want to change the background. <laughs> I'm tired that it works just fine. <laughs> so, we're going to show you some cool stuff, people. Stick around. It's going to be lovely. We're going to hypnotize you into thinking what you see is very good. It's Easter bunny poop. No, that's not what you see. Sparkly rabbit poop. Yeah.